When you start diving, people teach you you should use a logbook and log everything you do. That's cool, but hey, that's my logbook. And look, if you really think I can read anything from my dive three or four years ago, not a chance. It's really time to move to the cloud. I'm going for a dive now. When I go out, I'm going to show you how dive board works. Hello back! So quite a few nice fish down there. So now it's time I take the dive board application and look that dive. So dive board application comes from Android and iOS. It's very simple to use just as the website create a new dive, add your spot, add the fish you've seen, make some notes, and there it goes directly to the cloud. You can access all your logbooks information straight from the application. On your laptop, you can also add your dive profile from your dive computer. It's just very simple. We support most of the dive computers on the market. Plug it in, log into the website. It will automatically detect that the dive computer is plugged in and trigger the process to uh, upload the dive profile to your logbook. If you're a data freak as I am, you just enjoy seeing your dive profile in your logbook. Here's the list of the dive I had in my dive computer. I can just select the last one I did. And there it is, right in the logbook entry I previously created through my mobile application. I can flip through the various panes and check the data I have input. I can see my profile, the dive site, I can learn how much air I consume. I actually do consume it. On yesterday's dive, I can show you a few pictures I took. There's a nice picture browser that may let me select the uh, picture I'm going to feature in my logbook and browse with the, the other pictures. Obviously, I'm going to be interested in knowing who dived here before me and compare my experience with theirs. So, the iPod lets me do just that by showing me which people dived here before. Let's now add a few more details to the dive, uh, like the safety stops and, uh, of course, the uh, fish. Fish is really important to us because we want to help uh, universities and scientists to get a better understanding of the state of the marine ecosystem. So we've built really dive board in that objective, making a real-time map of the ecosystem. On top of this, Adding this data will make your memories more vivid since we have pictures of most of the fish that you may be listing. So they just come as a very nice addition to the logbook letting you remember exactly what you've seen during that dive. Sharing comes as a natural extension, of course. Just grab the link to, the, to your logbook entry and you can share it on any social network that you want. Facebook, Twitter, Google+, wherever. We have nice templates that will illustrate your dive. If you have some pictures, they will be used. Searching and exploring is a big side of dive board. There is a wiki-like section for each country and spots with some detailed information that may matter for scuba divers. Which fish you may be able to, to see, for instance, or what are the top spots of the region. All this has original content really dedicated to the scuba, scuba divers. You can also explore the interactive map to see what are the spots in a given area who's been there before, go check out their dives, and just basically play and explore the tool to discover new spots and new destinations. Or oh, dive buddies. For instance, here I can see that Atreo has been diving in Egypt too, and I can check his dives and learn more from, from his logbook. We're now getting at the end of this tool, so I hope you enjoyed it, and please do vote for us at the web competition. Thank you. Cheers. Barbara Streisand.
Barbara Streisand. Ooh. 